J Rock is here. It is time for the great one to do another reaction. Last night, MJF on AEW dropped a pipe bomb and the internet exploded with what he had to say. Oh, he broke the fourth wall. Oh, he broke the fourth wall. J Rock says, you know Hi, Lee. Hi, J Rock. J -Rock. Hands come back Hands come to back. you, too. What is happening in 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 with the millions? And millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world. J-Rock is here. It is time for J-Rock. Uh, the most electrifying YouTuber in all of YouTube Tain Mint. We got to react to what happened with last night. MJF. J-Rock normally doesn't do very many wrestling reactions. Uh, and even fewer AEW reactions however this young brother right him um m j f last night went off on his balls and the entire aew locker room even on the fans last night at aew this dude just let it all out he laid the smack down on the mic unlike anyone you've ever heard before we're gonna take a listen to it we're not gonna watch it we're not gonna look at it because turner sports um AEW, you know, they be tripping sometimes. They maybe like blocking and claim and stuff. And so we're not going to see the actual footage, but we're going to listen to the audio. Hopefully it doesn't get blocked or whatever. But come on, let's check this damn thing. in a lot of pain right now after what happened on Sunday. But all you people want to do is hear me talk, right? That's what, that's what you want, right? You want to hear me talk? I'll talk, but this is Max Friedman talking. Mm. Big merger, boss. A lot of important executives here tonight to watch your product. Would be a real shame if something bad happened. I wouldn't want to embarrass you, man. Speaking of embarrassing, you've been trying to sit down with me to hash things out for quite some time now, haven't you? Well, guess what? Too little, too late. Here's why. When this company first started, it was all friends wrestling. Everybody was handed a ticket, except for me. See, I had to write my own. And boy, do I have good penmanship, because I created moment after moment after moment for this company, and I still get no respect. Nobody is on my level. No one. Everything I touch turns to gold. There is nothing I can't do. Every time I come out here, I am not expected to hit home runs. I am expected to hit grand slams. And I do that shit on a weekly basis. Yeah, you can, apparently you can cuss all you want to on AEW. See, all the other boys, they get to settle for being great. I have to be perfect because I'm the 26-year-old who is constantly held under a microscope because I'm the only guy who is capable of carrying this company on my back as I have for months. It's funny, it's funny I hear booze, but I also hear clapping. That's interesting, that's interesting. Where were you guys, where were you guys this whole weekend when you were calling me an unprofessional piece of shit? I'm just curious. You're not the only problem, no, it's the boys in the back too. Cause the boys in the back all want my spot. Well guess what, you want my spot, you can have it. Cause I don't wanna be here anymore. Mm. Now let's talk about you fans, huh? You 
other people call yourself fans. Letting it out. You're not fans. You're uneducated marks. You sit there on your phones tweeting out your opinions like they're worth the damn. Let me explain something to you people. You don't know shit. He, he ain't playing right now. He is serious. Your hey. opinions suck. Your opinions change at the drop of a dime. And then you pretend your new opinions are the same as your old. For example, man, I always knew MJF was a good wrestler. Really? That's interesting. Because last time I checked, you guys pretended I sucked in the ring for a long time. And why is that, huh? Because... Not untrained like all your faves because I don't pretend to watch New Japan because I don't dump because I don't dump my opponents on their head because I'm not reckless what is it is it because I'm not chasing star ratings guys what is it how could I possibly be the best well newsflash I am the best I'm the best in the world because I'm the only guy who makes you feel and unlike all those boys, I don't gotta do a bunch of bullshit to get you there. I am a generation of talent, and you people consistently take me for granted, but it's not just you. It's the big man in the back, too. Here's something you guys can't take for granted. Here's something he doesn't want you to know. Do you guys know who the second biggest minute for minute draw is in this entire company? Nope, you wish. It's me. It's me. And if you don't believe me, do me a favor. Ask that boy Tony in the back, see what he's got to say. But whatever you do, don't ask him to reach into his pockets and pay the man who's been busted his ass for him since day one. No, 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 no. Make sure he hoards all that money. Make sure he hoards all that money so he can give it to all the new ex-WWE guys he keeps bringing in. That can't lace my goddamn boots. Oh, he broke the fourth wall. Oh, he broke the fourth wall. Gerard says, you don't know that. Oh ho! Oh ho! Hey, hey, boss! Would you treat me better if I was an ex WWE guy? Ooh! See, maybe Is that a hit? It, man. Is he hitting at something? Here's the problem with you, boss. You got a position of power in a wrestling company when the only position you should be assuming is behind the guardrail with all of them. I don't want to wait till 2024, but you don't listen to me, so allow me to make it a little bit easier for you. Tony, I want you to fire me. Tony, don't tell me down, you piece of shit! Shut your mouth! Look at me, Tony. Look at me. I want you to fire me. You f fire me. Oh, well, J Rock says this. Um, I think that that it was a hell of a promo. Don't get J Rock wrong. But I think if he wanted to get real, real, he'd have dropped a couple of F-bombs in there. He would have laid the smack down a few times with a couple of F-bombs, all right? So he understood where where the line was, where what line he couldn't cross, all right? And they bleeped out the F-bombs, obviously. I think he would have had more of it, all right? So it was, it was a damn good promo. Um, but I, uh, look, usually when guy gives promos, they don't, you know, refer to other guys or other companies in their promos, right? They usually leave that to fans and them holding their signs or whatever, all right? But when you have a guy in the ring who is deliberately mentioning another company, like that's, 
that at least for the for the longest time has been a no no. All right, you remember the Brett, the Montreal screw drop where at the end of the match you saw Bret Hart go W C W like you that was just something you just didn't do then. All right, and even today you don't really hear guys talking about other organizations, other you know companies, other wrestling uh, places. They may hit at it. You know, they may elude to it, but they don't actually say it. And so this is one of the rare instances where you have um, somebody in the ring actually talk about another company and what's actually going on. We all know who these guys are. Keith Lee coming in. All right. You had uh, um, uh, Matt and Jeff coming in. All right. A lot of these guys, CM Punk, uh, new AEW champion coming in. And so, hell, Cody Rhodes was there, but he went back, all right? Chris Jericho, I mean, that's just to name a few. And so we all see what's happening, all right? And it's not like WWE owns those guys. It's just a matter of a lot of them became famous in WWE because WWE was the hottest show in town at the time. And for a while, the only show in town, if you wanted to go to, you know, like, you know, TNA or other, you know, um, New Japan, pro wrestling, that sort of thing. But for the most part, you didn't hear that. So for him to go there, J-Rock says, was a big deal. All right? Now we just have to wait and see what happens. All right? Um, I think he's going to, I think if he hadn't already, going to get the contract he wants. All right? Um, but we got to wait and see. All right? But I think it was a good promo, but it was still, he, he didn't cross, like, the ultimate line right i think if he had dropped a few more f-bombs because it would have felt real because i could tell in the way he was talking with all of that passion oh he wanted to drop some f-bombs in there a little bit more than he did at the end but you saw where he was in the face of the camera right and they knew that it was coming right and so that was kind of their cue to know okay get the beat button ready right and then they cut his mic off inexplicably but whatever, be that as it may, still was good. Still was a damn good promo. Dude is a a, a, a hell of a talker on the microphone, um, and you got to give the man his credit. All right. Now, what say you? What are your thoughts on what you heard from MJF? Post your comments down below. Let J Rock know just what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed the great one's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Be sure that you hit that bell. So you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Stay tuned for my next video. Mamba, GG, and Wakanda forever. Hit the smell! Ow! With J-Rock!